welcome back to my t-shirt printers. I'm Mike and today, ha ha ha, I have been given some stuff from Screen Print World to try out. One I'm pretty, pretty excited about. I wouldn't say I'm not excited about the other things, but it's all good. <laughs> Let me go grab the box. Last but not least, okay, there's the boxes. A new mixing system, try it. Thanks very much to all the guys and girls at Screen Print Worlds. I'm going to give this a whirl in a second. Then we've got some uh, white ink from Screen Print World and some more white ink to try out. Okay, so the first thing, let's get these boxes open. Cool white sample. A cool white sample. Wait. Bot on Plastisol Polar Flash White. Mm -mm -mm. So here we've got all the mixing ink. We've got the fluorescent, the fluorescent red, fluorescent orange, some lemon. Okay, so what you ultimately can do with this whole system is mix your Pantone colors really well. The fluorescent colors, when you mix them in, you're going to be able to bump up those colors quite a bit. So that's going to be pretty cool. And it just so happens that we've got a design that we're going to print for this. First things first, we're going to go get their posies all printed out and everything, get them on some screens. And what we're going to do is a four color print. So let's go get that done. So, I never really, really know where to put the camera on my desk. It's always a bit awkward. So bear with me a second. Okay, so this is the design that we're looking at here. As I said, it was going to be a four color print with having a black and a white and then the two colors, which is the red and the blue color. Now what I've done, I've gone ahead and put in my registration marks all over the place. I've made sure that they are the registration color. Um, and since I'm going to be printing this through Accurif, I can't have this just as a white, otherwise it will not print. So I've selected my white and I'm going to make this the Pantone yellow color. I'm mostly just going to update this little reference for me over here. So when every, basically what this is up here, when every single layer prints out, I know exactly which layer is which because this color corresponds to the color that I've selected in the graphic. So. For the red, I've selected Pantone 185, which with the new mixing system, we should really be able to bump up this color and make it pretty close to what it actually is because it's quite a bright red with a, like, it's like a bit of a neonish glow to it. It's actually a really nice red. Um, and then Pantone 306 for the blue color over here. Okay, so another thing that we've got to take into um, taking to mind with this is that if we print this as it is it's just going to knock out every layer and every everything's going to be but registered which is what we want except for the white layer because we want the white layer to be able to print under the red and under the blue this is so that we can get that very vibrant vibrant color so at the moment if I bring up my separations preview let's just switch on output overprint preview and switch the CMYK on off sorry um, now we'll see if I just go and select all my Pantone colors off you can see it knocks out all of the colors around it behind it and we basically need colors where this absolutely going nuts over here at the moment so we need colors underneath there so the way I work around this is I will take my base layer I will put it on top of my design so I've actually made it a separate layer so I'm gonna put that on top now you can see it's on top but what this basically does now, it, it knocks out all the other layers. So we go and have a look, it's just say the blue, you can see the blue is kind of knocked out there and the red is also knocked out there. So what we have to do is, uh, if we select, so just switch on the yellow layer. So if we select this yellow layer, which is our white layer, and say, get our attributes window up and click overprint. Now it overprints over the blue and the red. So now that gives us our underbase for the blue and the red. What I've actually gone and done though is I've taken the black layer and I've punched it through the white layer, which is the yellow layer. It's all a little bit confusing, but it will work. If you want to see a video on how I separate something like this, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to do it. I'll probably do one anyway, but let me know. It'll be good. So let's go ahead and print this up. So get my print, win print window up and we're going to get accurate. And ooh, first of all, let's 
turn off this background make sure that's off so we're going to get our window up again we've got our accurate up and make sure all the processes are uh, process colors are off and we've just got our pan zone colors there now normally uh, you set these to run, depending on your graphic 40 55 and uh, 22.5 but all this is all set in my accurip anyway so that's that let's just hit print and watch these posies come out screen to go in there finally screen number four so we just got to wait for them to dry off before we can go ahead and tape them up and get them on the press so while we wait for them to dry let's go mix up those inks with the new mix new ink mixing system we're going to be mixing that Pantone 185 and the Pantone 306 let's go figure this out okay so we've got our ink formulas all printed out here which is great the two ink formulas that they need obviously we've got our blue and we've got our red and then we've got our black and our white which obviously don't need to be mixed um, so let's get what inks we actually need here I think we'll start off the smallest one first then we can use our small little scale and we are going to need 1.8 grams of this green ink so let's pop this guy open It's like a it's like a neon red almost. <laughs> this is really cool. And we've got our blue, which is all ready to go. Now we're just gonna tape up our screens, we should. Yeah, they should be driving now. So let's get the tape on the screens, get them on the press, get them aligned, and knock out this print with this new ink. it looks really really good the colors look really really bright I mean that, that red is just really singing out it looks really really good let me get the camera quick pretty nice colors very very vibrant um, smooth pretty smooth print and it's still very warm but that is really 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 nice I really like the colors that okay cool so I'm just gonna grab the Pantone book quick and then we can see how close this is the Pantone colors. I need five, which is this color over here. That, I don't know how well that's showing on camera. That's pretty much bang on, that color there. 30, what was it, 306? 306, yeah, it came up. Probably a little bit brighter than what I expected, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty much bang on. It's not really nice bright blue. So, pretty happy with that. All in all, pretty happy with this print. Okay, so what I want to do, I just want to grab a few of these, get some of them printed out, the Plastisol version, which is the one we've got at the moment. Then I want to clean down the white, and I want to put that down as a water-based white, and then put the colors on top and see how it goes with that one. Okay, so let's get a few of these shows printed out the Plastisol, and move on to the water base. vibrant I mean look at that that is really, that's really cool it's really nice bright bright print really happy and that's what matters if it's bright it's nice and smooth the colors match as closely as we can and that I'm really happy I'm just really happy with it so that one that one and that one right I'm just gonna quickly clean down the white and we can try to print the water base underneath with the colors on the top while I start cleaning this down to put the water base on here's a quick recap of how we've got to this point at the moment Okay, so here's the recap. 
Firstly, we printed off our four posies. We then exposed all our screens, all of which were 77T or a 196 US. We then mixed our inks, got our screens, put them on the press, aligned them up. We then could start the printing process. We put the white base down first with two strokes of ink, flash this, put another two strokes of white ink down. We then flash this, put down the blue and the red together, two strokes of ink each, flash this, hitting it with two strokes of black ink, job finished. Right, so I've got my water base white all in place, change it from the plastic salt to the water base, just get another test rag and print out this guy. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just putting two hits of white down of the water base white. So I'm going two strokes of white, flashing it, two strokes of white, so there's a double hit on that one. And then I'm gonna go around and print all the plastic salt colors on the top. I'm also flashing it for a little bit of a longer time, a little bit of a lower heat and a little bit of a longer time. So uh, if you're looking for a little bit of a lower heat and you can't adjust the heater, we need to just lift it up a little bit and just let it cure for a little bit longer. even smoother than the entire platysol with the platysol on top so the water base underneath and the color wow that really pops i think it's time for those close-up shots So I'm really happy with how this print turned out, both in the plastisol and with that water base under base. Just the, the colors are extremely vi vibrant and very, very close to those Panto mixings, that Panto mixing system that we got online. Thanks to everybody for watching today's episode. Don't forget to hit that like button, really helps out. Hit subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any questions about this. I am looking to do a few live videos, so if you've got any questions, stop firing them across either on the Facebook or the Twitter even in the comments below and we'll get onto it. Right, so that's about me. For me, it's gonna clean up this mess since none of you are here and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.